What's up, what's up, YouTube? I am back with the Budget Clipper battle. In this video, I did want to do this. So Connie FX versus the Kimmy 1986, but I am having issues with the switch on my Sakani. So I am going to use the Kimmy 1996 because of the taper blade, as well as the Babyliss FX taper blade. But in order to do that and make this a competition, I am going to have to go to my Clipper Graveyard. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right quick and get right back to you guys. In today's video, my client is going to get a drop fade. He doesn't want the fade faded too high, and the key to that is to keep tight guidelines. So I'm going to show you guys how to do exactly that. So without further ado, let's get right into this cut. When doing a drop fade, it's important to start your guideline in the back and keeping it as low as possible to give yourself a lot of room for error. Two things that I'm doing when I'm fading on my first guideline is number one, I have the lever fully open. At number two, I'm making sure that my guideline is under a half an inch. And what that does, it allows me to keep a tighter fade. I don't know if the video shows it, but I quickly close my lever almost close, and I'm just fading from under that line to erase that line. I will have to go back and tap at it a little bit with the lever fully closed, but it's not really that long of a process. Now with my number one guard with the lever fully open, I'm making my second guideline about a half inch and I'm making sure to stay consistent with the previous line. And what I'm doing is debulking this area before I come in with my 0.5 guard. This particular step to me is the key to keeping a tight fade is since I've used my one guard, the next guard that I go with, I make sure that it's a half size smaller to go under that area and that way I could create a transition as you can see and the only thing I did was a open then close with my 0.5 guard. This is where technique meets skill. What I'm doing is I'm flicking out with my one and a half guard. You can't always use your guidelines to create a fade. Sometimes you really have to involve skill. And as you can see, I'm fading in, but I'm flicking out. So just make sure if you're a new barber that you're trying to develop skill and not just relying on your fundamentals. So the last step that I did, that's what I would consider the highest point of my transition. And once I figure out how much transition I want, the next step for me is to go ahead and down fade. And what I'm doing right now with my number four guard is I'm softening up the area starting from the top. And I'm just really trying to tie in these two areas um, to meet at the point of my transition. And to do that, I'm just gonna go ahead and down fade with my four guard then three, then two, um, and then I'm gonna finish out with my one and a half.
I don't know if you guys remember the competition in my last video between the two trimmers that I use and the particular trimmers that I'm talking about are the Kimi 1949s and the ones that I'm using right now, which are the Babers Go FX trimmers. A lot of people ask me, you know, which one do they think is better? And really, you know, I'm gonna let you guys decide that. It really just depends on which type of hair type that I'm cutting. I mean, some uh, specific hair types, I could use one particular clipper on, on or vice versa. So really that has a lot to play in. There's really no true answer to that. I mean, I do have my favorites, like, you know, of course these, the 49s, and I also like the Andy's T outliners as well. For a minute, I wasn't using those at all. I was trying to get away from all corded clippers just because, you know, while trying to do curves, it, it really impedes and um, your wrist motion. But, you know, those are, you know, those are goats. Those are, you know, some, some of the greatest trimmers ever, you know, to, to be made. So I can't really just, you know, throw the baby out with the bath water. You know, I'm really, you know, I'm feeling those as well. I didn't think it was necessary for me to go through my steps on this side, mainly because I've already did the same steps on the other side. But I will go into details of why I chose to use these two clippers. The main reason is because they both carry a taper blade. And you know, those of you who have the Kimi 1996, of course you know how those blades look. And this, this clipper is original, but as far as the graveyard walls, I did put the Babers Go FX blades on them, which previously I had on the Sakani's, but I'm having issues with the switch. I really want to do that competition because they both are click lever and the graveyard walls aren't. But, you know, I felt like um, it was a, you know, a nice competition regardless of that. And, you know, if I would have used a fade blade, you know, versus a taper blade, I would have had two different finishes. And that's not something that I wanted to do to my client. You know, he deserves to have a consistent look, you know, no matter video or not. One thing that I did discover about the graveyard walls is that the Babers blade works very well with those clippers. Actually, I like them better than the actual wall blade on those clippers and also no modifications were required. It was just basically me fixing the clippers first, getting them running. But as far as putting a blade on, it was just taking the screws off and just replacing the blade. It's not really a modification. So those of you who, you know, have that extra blade laying around and, you know, a couple pair of walls, you know, go ahead and give it a try. Switch it up, man. You know, that's what this channel is about. You know, we try to, try to do new things with um, clippers. You know, my next video, I will be, you know, cutting with, uh, particular clippers that I was able to rebuild, you know, every aspect of it, but the body and man, that, that video is awesome. So I can't wait for you guys to check it out. But yeah, man, let me know what you think about this. I do have to go ahead after this video and do some touch ups on my client, but this is the finished result. I want you guys to see, you know, the competition, you know, let me know what you think, you know, but this is Nello Blends. Thank you for tuning in. I am out.